Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Now my eagle-eyed subscribers have noticed my nails have looked a little different the last few weeks and that's because I've been trialing a new gel and I'm ready to show you what it is. This is Gelish Poly Gel and I am in love with this product. So this video is a full step-by-step -step in review with a vlog at the end. I hope you enjoy. Before I could start applying the poly gel, I had to remove my existing product and as you can see my nails are very sad underneath and have been breaking an awful lot and that was a big reason why I went looking for a new product and it just so happened that poly gel was new on the market. So after performing cuticle work and removing the surface shine and cleansing the nails, we're going to go in with our dehydrator and just apply over the surface of the nail whilst avoiding the skin around the nails. And the reason the skin around my nails looks very dry is because I've dehydrated the nails. Then we're going to go in with our Pro Bond, which is an acid-free primer. And you can see it just leaves a nice sheen on the nail. It's just adding a good surface there to get a really good bond with the product. And next I'm going to decant some slip. Now this is inspired by the slip that potters use. It doesn't contain any active ingredients and it's not a monomer. It's just to help you when you're shaping your gel to stop your brush sticking to your poly gel. To apply the gel, we just need to squeeze a bit out the tube firmly and then scrape it off with a spatula. And you really don't need much product. I'm using quite a bit here as I'm doing a full overlay, but you hardly use anything on a rebalance, which I will show you later on. And just apply it straight onto your cleansed and primed nail and then dampen a brush with some slip. You don't want too much on the brush. You just need enough that stops the gel sticking to the brush and we're just going to pat and push it into place. Now the only way I can describe it using this product is it is unlike anything I have ever used before and it's that perfect hybrid between a gel and an acrylic. You can sort of get the control and the pushing it into place that you have with an acrylic without actually worrying about any setting time. This will not cure and it will not set. You could play with this on the nail for hours until you set it in a lamp. It's completely pliable and movable. And you can see here that I'm literally just spreading it out over the nail where I feel it needs it and you can keep moving it around. It has got a little firmness to it. I will say I should have bought the Nail Harmony gel brush because this one I'm using, which although it is a professional brush, it really isn't ideal for this product. You need something a little bit firmer and more detailed because you have so much control with poly gel. Once you're happy with that first layer of application, then cure in an LED lamp for one minute or a UV lamp for two minutes. Once cured, I'm going to go in with a second amount of the poly gel onto the nail. Now I am doing this obviously one nail at a time for you, but you could actually do all of your nails at once because the product doesn't move once it's applied. And did you notice the cute little smiley face on the ball of gel before I squashed it? So you can see I'm just patting this completely into place and there was a little bit of a bump out the side of my nail. I don't need to add a sculpting form because it was a small amount and this is quite a, a firm and stable product. So I'm just moving it to cover in that bump and go right around the cuticle area. Once you're happy, you can see that I'm just gonna move that apex on the nail a little bit because it was a little bit too pointed and in the wrong position. So you just pat and stroke until you're happy. If you get any on the cuticle, you can actually just remove it with an orange wood stick. And now I'm just checking down the barrel of the nail to see where the product is because we want a nice even C curve. And you can file afterwards to perfect this, but it's just to get an idea of if I've balanced the product on my nail. And then we're going to cure in an LED lamp for one minute or a UV lamp for two minutes before cleansing, ready to file into shape. And before filing, I'm just going to show you that on my left hand, I have the natural clear shear and on my right hand, I have the light pink shear. So you can see there's a very slight difference in the tone of the gels. As I had a little product on the skin, I went in with a 240 grit file first, just to remove that and sharpen up those edges. And I did that on each side before I then went in with a 180 file. And if you want to know more about my filing technique for how I get my nails so smooth, then let me know in the comments down below and I can do a special video all about filing techniques for gel and acrylic products. Otherwise, what I'm just doing here is starting down the sides and this is to make sure we get a nice slim nail with no extra hips on the edges. Then I'm going to do what I call the horseshoe, which is a sweeping action around the cuticle area to make sure it's nice and smooth and blended in. And finally, the TV control. And this is to smooth out the top of the nail and keep that apex in the right area, which you can see there's a little bare spot on the top. That's where your apex or your highest point is on the nail. 
Once you're happy with your shape, go in with a buffing block or a buffing file and smooth it over. I find cushioned files the best for this. And once you're happy with that look, just cleanse that nail ready to apply your top coat. And just apply that top coat straight over the gel, nice and evenly, and make sure it's nice and smooth over the nail. Now, if you're applying gel polish or polish, you could just apply that straight over the gel and then top coat. However, because I like to change my nail polish quite regularly, it means I can use a peel off base coat with this gel. And just cleanse to remove any sticky or inhibition layer on the nail. And then apply your favorite cuticle oil and massage round. Now I'm going to show you a little secret because quite a few of my nails had broken with the old gel not performing quite like it used to. I'm going to show you how to disguise when you've built up a tip or done a sculpt and you can see the lines there of where it's my natural nail going to a tip. So cleanse the back of the nail and then if you have an e-file you can just lightly buff the underside of the nail and it will disguise that area. So exactly just like this, stay away from the natural nail and just apply it to the gel it gives that nice sort of opaque finish. I wanted this to be a really thorough review and answer any questions that I might possibly get. So I decided to wait two weeks, almost exactly, I think it was two weeks and one day before I did a rebalance. And here I've already filed down my index and my ring finger. And there is my little finger. You can see there's absolutely no lifting at all. This is my ring finger. And the only bit where I had a problem in a chip is where I'd been a bit too rough with an orange wood stick on removing my peel off base coat. But you can see all we need to do to actually rebalance these nails and this product files so nicely. The great thing is as well that the dust that comes off is incredibly dense. It's not going into the air and you're not breathing it in. It just sort of falls straight onto your desk or your hand like sort of chalky almost. So we're just going to file over the whole nail and get that all smoothed down, remove any top coat and just put the apex back into position for the strongest part of the nail. Refine the shape at the tips because I find with mine being so pointed, I tend to wear them down over the period of two weeks because believe it or not, even with the length of these nails, I am very heavy handed and hands on. I have three children. I have a house to look after. If I want long nails, I've got to have a good product. So once you're happy with your filing down, just cleanse the nail and do cuticle work and then I'm going in with my pH bond dehydrator and I'm just going to apply this to the area of the actual natural nail and allow it to dry. Then I'm going in with my pro bond acid free primer and again I'm just going to apply this to the actual natural nail and keep it away from the skin. It's not that it's particularly damaging to the skin it's just any product can actually cause a build-up reaction if you keep touching your skin with it. And now I've taken a smaller bead of the poly gel and I'm just going to apply this towards the cuticle area where I want to build back up again. And this can be called an infill or a backfill or a rebalance. Now I have changed my brush since the last time. This was one I picked up really quickly, just online to be honest with you, on next day delivery because I needed something a little bit better than my last one. It's still not 100% but it is a bit better. And you're just going to pat that down in the area where we've actually had the outgrowth of the nail. And just to say also that poly gel isn't just an actual natural nail overlay. It can be used with tips, it can be used with sculpts, it is a full enhancement product. And it is a hard gel, which means it doesn't soak off, it needs to be filed off. And just as a reminder, I have actually dampened my brush with the slip solution again before doing this with the nail. But you can see here how perfectly you can finish the nail, which really minimises your filing afterwards absolutely brilliant because you barely have to touch the nail with a file to have the most perfect shape. And when you're happy just cure for 60 seconds in an LED lamp or 120 in a UV. And then I'm just going to cleanse the nails. There isn't actually a sticky residue on this after you've used it but I'm just a bit OCD with my method. And then it's time to finish file just like we did before when we were doing the application and I'm slimming down those sides to make sure we get a nice slim nail going around in a horseshoe shape, then TV control, and then just finish the look with a buffing block before cleansing and allowing to dry and then applying your top coat. Apply nice and evenly, and when that's done, simply cure it in your lamp for the specific amount of time, cleanse any sticky residue left behind, and then apply cuticle oil. Massage in and you are done. Please feel free to ask any questions at all, just leave them down in the comment section down below and I will link all the products in the video description. 
Just to say this video isn't sponsored, I approached the company because I wanted to try out the gel and they offered me some training for free without any promises of any videos. I just fell in love with the product and wanted to share it with everyone. Just look how perfect and thin you can get these nails. Now if you want to stay watching there is a vlog to show you the behind the scenes at the Polygel HQ. So I have been driving for about four hours, 40 minutes, five hours, and guess where I am today? I'm at Nail Harmony. Which basically, if you don't know, is the home of Jellish um, and Prohesion LMP, which is liquid and powder or acrylic, and a load of other things, but also the home of Polygel. So I actually messaged Jason, um, Jason Smedley the other week and just said, if I wanted to try this polygel, do I have to do a course or is it okay if I'm already like a grandmaster in gel, which I am. Well, I'm a grandmaster, so I'm a master, master sculptor in gel. And he was like, why don't you come on down and we'll show you how to do it. And I was like, I fancy a road trip, that sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna take you inside and we can go meet everyone on the team. Look, I'm with Jason. We talk on Facebook quite a bit. Oh, this is the new one that, this is the one that Kim Kardashian has been using on her daughter and that her daughter put all over the wall, wasn't it? That's it, that's the one, and it all looks like that. I like that pink. What a day, I've had a, I've had a, a fantastic day, I've had a really good laugh. Um, we ended up trying to do a set of nails, Jam saw, she's head of education, and I had to do a set of nails because the girl we were practicing on turned out she was going out tonight and she'd just be finishing work early. So it was like uh, a baptism of fire, and what an easy product to work with. I have got some polygel to go home, I'm having some issues with my gel cracking at the moment on my free edge right in the corner. I don't know what I've done with my... I've changed my, my settings. Um, that's why I appear so pale. So I am going to take this off on Saturday night and try the poly gel out. I'll film me putting out myself in a close up so you can see it a bit better. I've got some other bits as well. I've got some piggy polish for the kids, uh, which is really safe, that one I mentioned earlier. Um, and I've got some of the new All That Jazz colors. So I'm gonna head home now and see Rick. And what time is it? We're at half five. Um, Yes, half five, so hope about four hours, probably about ten. So I'm gonna head on my way now and I will catch up with you shortly. <laughs> 